Good morning. It is Sunday, July 11th, I believe. And oh, you guys, we got a huge storm last night. I didn't video any of it, and I should have, but the rain blew in, the wind blew in, the lightning, the thunder. It was an awesome spectacle. No danger. There was no tornadic activity, but uh, anyways, we worked all day yesterday trying to get set up for the storm, getting all of our mowing done, got the hay um, shelter finished and ready, and went and picked up our hay, got home, didn't even have time to get it put away. All we could do was tarp it and hope for the best. <laughs> and it worked. How do you like the house? <laughs> it's coming. It's coming. Anyways, we're going to walk outside and see what Jeff is doing. Ooh, I hope you're not too close. See what Jeff is doing. He is uh, charging one of the lawnmowers. Um, the one that he uses to um, haul trailers around around the property. Um, we really need to get uh, we need to get moving on getting a garage up, getting a uh, building up to house the equipment because things get waterlogged out here. Let's go out and take a look and see what he's doing and we'll go check on the animals real quick. How's it coming? Hey, he can't hear me. Maybe it's not the battery. This old thing, his dad was given this old lawnmower. Yay! inherited it. He doesn't really mow with it. He put a ball hitch on it and it's just been something he's hauled trailers around with on the property of course. But anyways, you hear them. The girls. Well hello my ladies. How are we doing? Oh Kalani, you're so pretty. You are so pretty. I love you. Oh, hi, Elsa. Hi, Maze. Hey, girly girl. This is Polly. Hi, Miss Polly. Hi, Miss Polly. Yes, I love you. Yes, I love you. Hello. Pizzazz is doing a lot better. She doesn't run. And, of course, we have Bee. Hi, Bee. What do you think, Zoe? What do you think, Zoe? She absolutely loves Jeff, you guys. She won't hardly come to me, but she will come to Jeff, and she loves it when he picks her up. She just lays her head on his shoulder, and she just loves him. But, hi, Elsa. I don't got nothing for you. You already ate my sweet. Oh, Kalani. You are so beautiful, my sweet. You are so beautiful. Yes, Maisie. Yes, Maisie. Oh, Kalani. You are such a pretty girl. Hey, Aspen. How's my love? Are you gonna eat me? She's our biter. She likes to bite. That's three generations there. Or actually, no, it's, I guess it's only two generations. Because this little sweetheart is Aspen's and Maisie is Aspen's. Hi, my sweet. Hi. Oh, you're gonna be like your mama. Where's Panda? Hi, Panda. <laughs> you did not come and say hello. You did not come and say hello. Come here. Come here and see me. Hello, my sweet. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> but the girls are doing really good. 
We cleaned out their pen. We've already got a good pile of compost going. You guys, I absolutely hate those hay bags. There is so much waste off of them. And you know, most goats won't eat any hay that spills onto the ground. So anyways, we cleaned it all up and that will get covered at some point because this of course is the garden area or part of it. I don't think I showed you guys. We popped our tomatoes in the ground. These are the San Marzanos. My most favorite tomato for making sauce. But they kind of are just starting to come out of it. We got so much rain, it was so wet for so long, but everything's looking really good. Lots of San Marzanos. And then this little poor creature, it hasn't never grown above that. And I can't remember, this is one of my botten ones. It's a celebrity. But as you can see, we've got cattle panel here and we've got some tea post and we're gonna stake these up along the cattle panel they'll grow what my harvest is is a different story but they will grow but we will come back and see the girls another time because there's work to be done my ladies they would like it if i just stayed out here and fed them treats all day I'm not going to feed them treats all day, but take you up on the porch. I do have some more gardeny stuff we just haven't had time to put in yet, but I think in another video, in an early video I showed you guys before we left Oregon, we uh, took some clippings off of our grape. Um, the Concord grape that was there had been there, we'd been there for almost 20 years, so we were told by um, one of the neighbors that had lived there for 40 years that that grape had been there for as long as she could remember, so we know for sure it was at least a, at least 30 year old grape, Concord grape plant. But, so we took some clippings and we did a YouTube video, or we watched a YouTube video um, on how to transplant and by all accounts they're doing exactly what they should be doing um, they said they you know would root out in three to four months ready for transplant and you guys look whoops they're rooting out that one's kind of tight so I couldn't bring it up as much as I would want to let's try this one look you guys it's rooting out so our concord from oregon has traveled with us to oklahoma yay and we had bought a few flower plants don't look at my poor attempt at we should have had this in the ground a long time ago but it's still alive um hopefully i can't remember i think it's a dahlia and so it will come back, um, if not this year, next year. But that, I believe, is a canna. And then up on the porch is another canna. Mom gifted us with chive seeds. And I planted it in this old wash bucket that I have. And yeah, they're coming. And then we have bell peppers. I've actually already picked a few bell peppers. As you can see, there's some right there. And we have the jalapeno, which that needs to go in the ground. It's just kind of stopped and not doing anything else. This is also another plant we brought with us from Oregon. It was gifted to me years ago um, by a gentleman um, 
it is I can't remember the the true name for it but we just call it the Arizona um, because it is a night blooming plant and it did good the transplant worked but we need to get that out on the ground anyway so that is my gardening for now we are hoping 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 that we can get the girls moved in time to get that ground ready and at least put some beans in um, we're gonna have to do it pretty quick for a fall harvest I'd really like to do some green beans um, at least get those put up for the winter but got it hooked up she's ready this is some of the hay half of it we have the other half already stacked but we were able to tarp this very well and then we sandwiched it between the two trucks because in Oklahoma the wind doesn't come from the west it comes all over this back section halfway down had gotten a little damp but in Oklahoma's wind it's already dried out and we are ready to go put it up woohoo hey 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 Jeff wait 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 the gate The gate is down. I'll edit that. No worries. I got gotcha. you. We bought 35 bales. We bought 35 bales of prairie hay. Now my girls um, for the last month have been exclusively eating Bermuda, which is a higher protein um, hay. Some people think it's junk hay. Other people say, nope, that's the better hay. Anyways, that's what my girls have been eating. But um, we want to put them on the prairie hay. They don't need the Bermuda. Um, it is more expensive um, and right now we just want to get the hay so we can get them you know situated and we're going to put them out hopefully start next week on fencing in the pasture so so this is of course, when hoop houses work, you just keep it going. And this is what we have. There are 16 bales in there right now. Like I said, we bought 35 bales, so we will easily be able to put them in here. And we will leave it open. For the most part, not tarp at all. Um, uh, we'll, we'll tarp only if rain is coming but this way it stays aired out he's going to put a cattle or a pallet pallet and i'm going to use one of these straps for the plastic go right here and we can go ahead and put another one right here and then we can go ahead and uh zip tie it yep so uh, awesome. we're going to put a pallet back here because there are deer on property and we you know don't need them eating all of our hay they've got plenty out there because we'll always wonder where all the deer are if they're being the back of the Yeah, right. The hay. Yeah. But anyway, um, Jeff had some equipment in here last night and it stayed dry. So we know that this tarp works for now. We don't expect that it'll last forever. Of course, it is a tarp. Um, but for now, it is a good place to store our hay until we get the hay barn going or the goat shed that will have a hay barn. Um, these bales weigh approximately... Probably 60, 70 pounds. Yeah. So we got 35. 35 is what would fit in the trailer and in the truck. So 35 bales Which is pretty good. should hopefully last 
for a while and it smells really really good it's a really good smelling hay as you can see we've got pallets on the bottom that will allow free airflow underneath and keep it up off the ground that's how we did it in Oregon and you guys all know you guys all know how wet Oregon was so this should be just fine but let's talk about pallets my goodness you guys if the price of wood wasn't outrageous enough maybe it's just us but in Oregon pallets are free they're a dime a dozen you you grab pallets anywhere and you know no big deal but because of the the cost of wood being outrageous you can't find free pallets out here uh, it's outrageous and so we finally just bit the bullet and Jeff bought pallets for eight dollars a piece if you can believe that we bought four pallets and as he was leaving found a whole bunch in a dumpster <laughs> and so he asked the guy hey what about those pallets in the dumpster can I have those and the guy says yeah take them and so he got those, got those. which is good you know they're not perfect but when you're desperate perfection doesn't matter does it and you know we'll take what we can get for right now and then we can always fix it later so you know this is where we're at for now and the pallets were important the pallets were important in the beginning just so we could keep the the hay off the ground I'm sure I'll be able to find some more oh yes he's got to go back he's got to go back today and take something back so he's going to check that dumpster again that's everywhere Wood, woods real high everywhere. yeah it's outrageous it was a great time you know to move sold our home everything was great but man if you're wanting to build anything right now good night it's kind of spendy <laughs> so you know we're we're doing it we're doing it but uh hopefully the prices will come down a little bit soon hopefully Oregon there uh, still is going outrageous too Just the, the uh, materials in uh, Oregon there started going sky high too. Yeah. Prices are up everywhere. I was lucky enough to get uh, the pallets and the wood that I did get. Yeah. And I took some 2x10s and cut them down to 2x4s, ripped them on my brother in law's table saw, which yeah. was very nice. Yeah. All right. Okay, go ahead and start. Packing and stacking. Packing and stacking. I can't lift them. That's his job. Sorry. I make a mean that, dinner, that's though. That's all right. I get dinner, lunch, <laughs> and breakfast, so I'm doing good. There's, there's a trade-off. There's a trade-off. Cookies would be good, though. I'll buy some. I don't, I don't have... We still have stuff over in storage at my brother's that we have a problem with. Sadly, my cookies pans are over there. They're not here. I can't make cookies. I can't make cookies. You don't know where they're at. <laughs> we don't have much stuff. We've got the big stuff. The furniture, the freezers, which the freezers have got to, at least one of the freezers has got to come over here. I hate shopping. I hate grocery shopping and having to grocery shop once a week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Send Jeff cookies. Yeah. Save me. Whoa! There goes the Yeti. Ugh. The good thing.
thing too about putting the hay in here is it stabilizes this nice. quite a bit. If you're looking for a, a quick fix, cheaply, these really work you guys. I mean we've been through two pretty good windstorms. At least one. Last night was, was yep. probably the biggest windstorm and this didn't have anything in it but a couple pieces of equipment and it held up yep. fine. Of course he's anchored it, you know. But uh how many is on here? I thought he said he had sixteen on here. You're gonna need a back. What? I ain't a gonna back say rub. That. I'm not yeah. gonna say that. Yeah, you, you said it. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I didn't say it. He did. No, I didn't. <laughs> I'm not a masseuse. I'm your wife. used to twine and this is wired and it's a lot easier to pick up. You don't worry about it breaking. I am here for moral support. There. Yeah. Well, what won't fit in here will fit on the trailer in there. Got out and mowed yesterday. It's like a park, you guys. I can't wait for him to get the brush hog. It'll be really nice. It's nice and cool. We've had 90 plus degree weather lately and today it's overcast. There's a nice breeze blowing. I'm not for sure on the temperature, but if I had to guess, I'd say 80, 75, 80. Probably. Hey, 35 bales. It's pretty good for this little house. Yeah. And then that is actually the 35th bale. That's the one we opened last night to feed the girls. And that'll go in there. Right now, we've just been storing it in the shelter. <clears throat> so, now we can take it out of the shelter, which we had plenty of room in case we needed to get in it. That's a very big shelter. Yay yeah, us! Or, well, yay Jeff. Uh, <laughs> you unloaded it. That's what it was the moral support you got a gator for. Yes. No cookies though. No. Okay guys, we can't end the video without showing you these boys <laughs> and how well they're doing. Their shelter held up perfectly fine. In that high wind last night. Hi, Case. How's my boy? How is my boy? Oh, I know, I know. You think I'm gonna feed you? No, no. Hi, Diesel. Hi, Diesel. What's the matter, Rug? Okay, guys. If you go to our farm page. Hanson Never Done Farms on Facebook, you will see that we listed Tank HNDF Tatanka for sale. Not exactly what I wanted to do, but what I need to do. He, his pedigree, pictures of his dam and his sire, 
everything is on our Facebook page if anybody is interested. Diesel's going to stay for now and then we'll just see what we see. Okay guys, it's starting to get warm. We've got company coming so we're gonna wrap this up for the day. Thank you for watching. And thank you very much. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you. Don't forget, go check out our Facebook farm page. Like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell and we'll catch you on the next video.